Hello everyone, my name is Marissa, I'm 18 and I'm a witch. I'd like to explain what past life is. Past life regressions are issues from another life coming forth into the current life, whether it be memories. Usually, memories of death is the first one that comes up with traumatic incidents in the past life. It takes a while for the memories to surface. Once they surface, they can be very, very strong or very weak and don't affect much in your life. The past life reflects in your current life. Your current life seems to be without worries. Everything in your past life has been completed. If your current life is troubled, the issues from your past life most likely are not solved. So, to shorten that up, whatever happens in a past life can affect you in a current life. If a curse is placed on you in a past life, chances are it will come forth in the in the current life as well. Past life regressions happen mostly in dreams. Where they are triggered by memories of situations as well as items during the time or night. So items can hold a past life connection. People can hold a past life connection. Sometimes past lives come in dreams. The visions come in dreams where you feel so that they're so real but they aren't your own memories. I've had situations where that's happened before. I've had dreams where I've murdered people. And I never murdered anyone in my life, this life. But there's a good chance that it could have been in the past life where I had done that. Sometimes the regressions can happen at any time. Sometimes they can be triggered. Depends on what kind of regression you're having. Sometimes they can happen just at random times. You just walk down the street and see something like a swing moving in the wind or something simple and your mind can automatically go back to a certain time where you were not you, you were someone else. Often they could be triggered by anything. Say you're in a traumatic event in your life, you feel unsafe as you are. That can trigger your mind into going into a past life regression. When you die, only the body decays. Your soul lives on and meets another body. When you when you pass on in this life, you will go on into another life. That life will reflect on how this life was. Sometimes messages from the past life are sent to the current during dreams or visions. The first thing that comes up that comes up is your death, especially if it was traumatic. Usually that's the first thing that will pop up, will be your death or something traumatic that has happened, whether it be a violent way you died or a violent way you killed somebody or something, sometimes it's just simple things, but usually that's the first thing that comes up. And they can be set, sent to you during the dreams. Your past life body will want to talk to you in your current life. When he tell you something, a message that you did not understand the past life which led you to this current life. You must be fearless to work with past life regression, seeing how they are disturbing. You must have a fearless soul to work with past lives. Because what you find out will be very disturbing, will be very traumatic, and could change your life forever. So you must be ready before you start researching and finding out stuff because it's surprisingly freaky stuff. It's hard to answer a question after a vision of yourself. Some might not be answered, although it could help to do some research and rituals with must. Sometimes you get questions in this life that make no sense. You get visions or triggers that make no sense. Like certain phobias, being afraid of water could mean that your death has something to do with water. Being afraid of fire or having a strong interest in fire could mean your death has something to do with fire. It all depends. Sometimes, whenever you will get these regressions, you will have these thoughts that make no sense to you. We start wondering. That's when you should start doing rituals and start meditating. That's the only way you get out past life regression is through meditation. 
sometimes push push place on one in a pathway may affect the next. Some curses cannot be banished or reversed easily. You can take a series of spells and rituals to purify yourself. Curses from a past life may come forth in the next life. If you have been cursed in a past life, chances are you will get it in, in the next life as well. Also, if you have sent out negativity in a past life, you will pay by your next life. You, you do something wrong in a past life, it will come back to you and it will bite you in the next life. Salt and other herbs can be used for this, to purify yourself in the area. Sometimes it is hard to completely purify yourself after you find out that you have been casted with a spell, whether it be from a different life or from this life. It will be hard. So other herbs, looking up herbs is a good one. That's all I have for today. It's a simple but equally important topic. I am very, I believe very much of the past life. I'm very interested. If you, if anyone has any past life experiences, please feel free to talk, talk to me about it. I'd be happy to share some of mine with you. Blessed be.